sound speeds, provided that sound has a medium to travel through. Now you've heard me say it and say it again. Sound is simply vibration. And provided that that vibration has something it can travel through, like for example, air, then there's no problem. As a matter of fact, sound travels even better when the particles are closer together in a denser surface, like for example, a liquid like water, as you've seen me demonstrate in the past. And it travels even better through even denser particles, like for example, metals, like solids. But not everything in the world of sound works the same way. As a matter of fact, in the world of sound, we include RF. RF is actually the exact opposite of sound. If you took a speaker and you put it that far away from a microphone, provided that the microphone and the speaker still worked, you wouldn't hear anything that far away. Even that far away, you're not going to hear it because the sound is not going to have a medium to travel through. A vacuum, it doesn't work. RF, for example, is the exact opposite of sound. The denser the material that it's trying to go through, the less likely it's going to be that it will travel through. Look at metal again. Sound loves metal, but metal is also what makes a Faraday cage. This is just the material that you make a Faraday cage out of, nickel and copper. Yet RF can't travel through this. This is actually RF, radio frequency, and EMF, electromagnetic field, blocking Faraday cage material. RF hates that stuff, but it loves vacuums, like for example, the vacuums of space. Think about the satellites we have sent deep into space that have gotten pictures from Jupiter, Saturn, the outer planets, even Pluto, millions of miles away. We have seen pictures transmitted back from these satellites we have sent deep into space. And why? Because there is nothing to stop the RF, nothing in the way of the RF. That's what RF likes. RF likes nothing in the way, nothing blocking it. The more dense material between your transmitter and your receiver, the less likely it's going to be that your RF signal is going to travel through. So keep that in mind as it is one element that could affect your RF. That's sound advice. Have a question you'd like answered or want to add something? Be sure to write it in the comment section down below. You can also make a suggestion for future topics of discussion. Again, comment section down below or you can email me at soundspeeds at yahoo.com. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss out on future sound advice.